Let's go on, on our adventure. I just saw that. Oh. Uh, so guys, happy Shrove Tuesday. So I've just, well, we're all up, well, we've all been up for hours. And I'm just making some lovely, juicy American pancakes. Uh, you can see my recipe below or up here somewhere. And um, yeah, I don't know what the plan is for today. It's very bleak and horrible outside, but I think we're still going to go for a nice walk, so i best go and finish my pancake recipe and I'll see you guys later when we are out for our adventure. Hey, so we're back, we're actually on our adventure now, Walton. Now this walk that we're going on, we're not doing the full walk, just me and Steph have done this walk when Zach was um, probably about the same age as Eli, a few months old, and it was an eight mile walk, which was fine, but six mile if it was right uphill, I up the mountain and with a toddler and a uh, uh, sort of teenager, ten year old, won't happen, won't even, wouldn't even make it up. So we're just walking to see where it takes us. Uh, we had a bit of snow overnight and then rain, so it's washed most of it away anyway. But the paths are really boggy, but it's still a nice. Still a nice day, the current bums come out, so yeah. I don't know if you can see what behind us. Oh, I love nothing better when you see the snow on the ferns and there's the mountains behind. Might make a good photo actually, because of course I have my camera. My backpack on, got my camera, always got my camera, but if memory serves us right I don't think there was actually anything to photograph on this walk, but we'll wait and see, you never know, there was a snow on the last time so something could have changed over the past year or so. Dark wood. Um, um, the Gruffalo. <gasps> really? And we're going to scare them. You're going to scare the Gruffalo? Yeah. What, what, you, what you, are you doing? Um, he's sticking out. It's so you can hear? What? So you can hear the Gruffalo coming, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. That's good. We've just had a drama. Zach fell into that behind us. <laughs> but obviously I was seriously taking photos and missed him actually falling in. Not like I would want to uh, have a laugh with me own child falling in the mud on camera. Of course not. But uh, yeah, we're getting absolutely nowhere. We're still in this wood walking through because obviously, well, if you've got kids you would know what it's like actually. Uh, Attempting to go for any sort of walk at any speed is just impossible. Back to the adventure. So we have actually, so we have actually got a number of sort of things that we're definitely going to be doing while up here in Scotland. Isn't obviously the first time that we've been up here to Forest Holidays uh, in Argyll and Butte. Um, 
fantastic, honestly. It is absolutely fantastic. I love the place. Even better now that it's snowed a little bit. So the plans this week is that we're going to be going to a little pub called The Drovers Inn. If you've never heard of it, it is a, a fantastic um, sort of a, a real Scottish pub. Uh, lots of taxidermy and everything around it. Obviously, it's brilliant. The food is fantastic. Um, we're also going to go up to see Steph's sister's tree. She passed away a number of years ago. So, and her mum and dad planted a tree for her. So we're going to go for a nice walk up to see the tree. Um, but I'm also going to go to Glencoe. So it's my plan to go meet Paul um, to, uh, from ML5 Photo, which I will leave a link to his descriptions below. I met him last year, I think it was, uh, and I did see that obviously if I was planning on coming back up to this end of Scotland again, that would make up and go for sort of a photo day with the cameras. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Weather depending, I don't know what the weather's like up in Glencoe at the moment. If it's snow like this here, it'd probably be even worse up there. But we'll wait and see anyway. So that's the plan. Uh, part of, uh, I don't know where we're going to go, but Glencoe's sort of the main one. And there's probably a few areas in and around Glencoe that we're going to go to. But let's see it, weather dependent. Shining, the weather is sweet. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful day. We're still walking. Kids are getting hungry as they usually do. Uh, but I don't actually know where to stop because the last time we come on this walk, the only sort of picnic area was right up on top of the mountain. If you know us. So I don't know where, but. Looking back here, which I can't remember from the last time, the road cuts down, which I think that's the road that we need to take, and then it loops back. Because oh, I think it goes like right down, like sort of the lock front. So we might be able to stop and have a bite to eat down there while the kids and dogs play and stuff like that. Yeah, it does cut down here. I do vaguely remember walk, not walking down the way I'm walking, but the opposite way. And I, and I think it's like an old army sort of training camp or barracks or something. It's definitely, I'm sure it's definitely something to do with the army. I don't know what scene it was, but then there's like old sort of shower and toilet blocks and stuff. In fact, it might have actually been an old camp combat site or something, to be honest with you, because there's a garbage there, but the sort of like electric point all around where you would hook up your caravan. No idea. <laughs> so it wasn't an army camp thing, it was a actual caravan site. That was the male toilet block. I knew it was something along those lines. It's never changed since the last time we because I'm sure. I actually went and had a look in there the last time.
frying. So I've just come out because I think we're going to have a barbecue in this lovely sunny weather. Everybody's in the hot tub. There's Jimbo in the hot tub with his little pot belly. Look, look, look. There's Zach. Say hello. And we're going to get your barbecue. And we're going to get your barbecue. But, but I think we're going to go in the back. So, okay, bye. <laughs> there you go. We're going to have a barbecue. And he's going to get in the bath soon. Look at this view. Molly. Hi Molly. So I'm going to cook me large sausages, some burgers, <laughs> some pork, because that's my favourite. Oh, is she getting, is she getting one to get in? Molly. Are you getting in? Molly. 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 <laughs> Cannot beat a barbecue with the cord. Put it in and then like put spots and stuff on, then you can see like a bit of these spots if you want to. Hey! I want one in there! I want one in there! I want you! What do you want there? Do you want the pink one? I want you! I want you! Make sure you just do dots. It. Just little bits. Not too close together. Not too close together. To spread them about. Yeah, do one right over there. Right, now you want a different colour. Put the lid back on. And you want a different colour. So because it's nearly Valentine's Day tomorrow and we haven't getting Mammy a card have we? So we're gonna make one using our new Baker Ross uh, craft stuff. So we have got like a cardboard heart here. So we're just gonna decorate the heart. We've got lots of lots of bits of little craft stuff. But we got um dots on so we we have to um Place it because because it's nearly Christmas time, so it's we not need. It's nearly, <laughs> nearly Valentine's Day. It's nearly Valentine's Day. <laughs> and see, so we're, um, we're using our Baker Ross stuff, aren't we? We're using our Baker Ross stuff. Yeah. Because we. It's fun time because. So that's it really, another day pretty much over with. We didn't end up going to the quiz at the, like, the forest retreat. We stopped in and we obviously had the barbecue. Uh, we played with Zach's new sort of craft stuff from Baker Ross. Um, so I've done like Valentine stuff with him. Now I'm gonna go and get in the hot tub and then later we're just gonna do absolutely nothing. Because tomorrow we're going to go on more long walks, more adventures. So today that is pretty much it. Um, oh God, I'm knackered. I can't, honestly can't even be bothered to go in the hot tub to be honest. But I am, so I shall be getting ready. Ready. Whoa. 
and it was simple as that. So now I'm going to go and get my hot tub, chill out. That'll be me for the rest of the night. And I shall see you guys tomorrow for more adventures. Possibly some photography tomorrow because I didn't really do much today. And yeah, peace.